Hi, welcome to our Android development training tutorials. Now in this video, or uh, in this lesson, we are going to take a look at how to insert in your code for the functions of the notepad. So which code am I going to insert? Meaning that if the person types something at the notepad area, he or she should have access to it to save it onto the phone storage. So this is what you are going to do. So all that I'm going to do is I'm going to open my app as we know. Now in the previous lessons, we learned something about how to ins uh, how to create in more XML pages to to the app that you are developing. Now at my left side where the explorer is, you if you check in the beginning at the Java point, I was having only this file over here, Java main activity. Then as times goes on when you are creating the pages step by step, we've added in another Java activity which is the note editor. Then we move to the resources which is the risk. Also we've created in a menu folder which has XML called add note. Then we also created uh, activity notes editor attached to the activity main. So all these procedures we've learned it in the previous videos. So all that you have to do is just go over again, step by step, step by step, half time, and do understand them well. If you don't understand it, then just test us or WhatsApp us. We will assist you in 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 whatever question that you brought on the board. We will help you to to understand it more. Now in Android development. When you get to the Java options, the Java area sometimes gives us a lot of what, errors or sometimes gives us uh, more time to, to, to spend. So I don't want to spend time where by my video will be more than 100 megabytes. So all that I'm going to do is just going to paste the code over there. So you just have to write the code down. Now which portion am I moving? I'm moving straight to the notes editor activity dot java that is my first step that i'm going to work on so when i come to note editor activity all that i have to do is just delete all these things i just have to delete it so you select it you choose your delete then you paste whatever you want to what insert it over there so these are my codes as i made mention i don't want to spend much time over here so so that my video will not be more than 100 megabytes if if it become more than 100 megabytes uploading it at the youtube for you people to watch, to watch may may cost you more data so i don't want to waste much more time so all that i have to do is just go through with you so that you do understand the code that i just pasted it now if i go up you will see I have a folder now at the beginning you saw this things over there I was having this then I deleted it off and I bring it back now the first step is under the public class activity I inserted intent note ID intent means if the person open the notepad and tap on the add note there will be a a dialog box or there will be a space for the person to, uh, to type in the message so this is the note if the person tap on the add note this box will open for him or her to, uh, to start typing so this id over here represent the things underneath over here so when i move into this uh, you can see that i have a text editor over here so the text editor as i made mention if the person tap on add note the system will check the editor for the person to, uh, to start typing. So when the person enter, you see that it says that the comment I posted it over here says fetch data that is passed from the main activity. So if the person tap on the add activity example, if the person, let me open this, if the person enter if the person choose this add note this activity will come for the person so 
if the person choose and um, say the as accessing the data using the key of value meaning if the person selects this this point should open for the person to uh, to type whatever he or she wants to type so i'll go back now when you move to this area i have a certain instructions over here it says if if the person enter something the system will store it if else i don't need it uh, meaning it will go to somewhere so this somewhere you may not understand it, but we have something called sql this sql stores whatever you type onto your system so we will later go there when the time comes now we we'll move to the next one so all these codes is there for you as to uh, to to keep whatever we type onto the app now in android you have so many activities over there so some activities you may not understand it but as time goes on when you are going into details you have answers or you do understand a lot of this overwrite public value before text changes stuff and blah stuff stuff all this you may not understand it but it's the same thing it's going to work for you perfectly as i made mention if you want to go into details we have a detail program that you need to learn before you become uh, somebody may say a full stack developer now in android this is the level one this is the basics that is what we are doing now and the basics as i made we are not charging you any amount we just ask you to uh, to register with 50 cities then we move on so from the 50 cities and you want to go into details to develop a mobile app fully functioning then you need to come and register and continue now i'm still reminding you that our tutorials for android is 800 cities but as a beginner we started with you with 50 cities only just pay 50 cities to to learn how to use the android studio to to develop a mobile application called notepad very simple all right so let's continue so there's a comment here that says add your code so whatever that you want to do whatever if you want to make changes you can also work, make changes to it but i don't need anything so i won't i won't i won't add any other thing. all that i need is this uh sequences that i've entered I, I only need those sequence i don't need to add any other code over here so i will leave that comment i have another comment over here that it says over uh, sorry over override public void on test change sequence intent one intent i2 and i1 all these commands are there for me now when i'm done with these activities all that i've inserted it was share preferences share preferences meaning if the person click on the add node i should get whatever he or she what type so if you can check it i have it over here so whatever he or she type you know, the system will save it and give it a word and name so the content mode is what private if you are having your phone whatever that you put it on it it's private for you unless you give me a password to your system then everything move so this is what it's all about now put it in your mind that the android studio there is a lot of things that you need to learn but this is the first steps now you can see that there is a red 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 activities in there so this red activity how are you going to ratify it you just have to check the lines so when you check that you see there is a, a comment 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 over here so this comment you just put your cursor on it it will actually it will says change field change field notes in activity main activity so change note field note field i have main activity dot note get that is that one i will maintain it i don't need to make changes to it so let me come straight to import and see if i left something yeah, so everything is intact 
everything is in there so these are my errors so i have to click on it then i will choose none i will hide this option then everything will be off for me now if i come to my main activity i think i don't have any other areas over here if i come to java 2 i don't have anything over here so i think i'm okay with it but i still have some three lines over here so let's make some changes to those three options so i'll just choose this one and see okay so in the intent is over here then i'm done with that so these are the changes that sometimes you need to do and everything will be in fine i have another option over here says create field in it so i have object 2 over here so i also need to save that so all these changes you need to do so that your system will be clear for you all right see you in the next video have a nice day